time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack, The Ride, is brought to you by the American Association of Taxidermatologists Limited. Whether you need tan skin or skin tan, your hide is safe in our hands. And now, here's your host, Guy Towers. Hey, how you doing? Nice to see you. Shirtless though you may be. Well, aren't you lucky? I'm about to show you some skin. All right, there you go, nice. Okay, here's your category. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Here's the question. If someone offers to teach you how to skin the cat, what should you bring to the- Skin the cat, also known as the tidal wave, is a yo-yo trick. And you know, if you have one of those razor-edged yo-yos, you can skin the cat and skin the cat. All right, and for your viewing pleasure, dermatology is the best medicine. All right, a little bit over three grand here, let's go. Okay, one dermatologist jokes to the other, Hey, Alan, your epi- The subcutaneous layer of tissue lies beneath the epidermis and the dermis, so if that's showing, then Sid's got some serious problems. Well, aside from thinking that the epidermis is showing joke is actually funny. Hit your buzzer and s The category is... Your skin glows as if you've had a nutritional meal. Look out, here it comes. According to some experts, humans can get all the nutrients they need. Some food experts say we can get all the nutrients we need from a diet of milk and potatoes. Yeah, I think one of the experts is from Idaho and the other one's from Wisconsin. Go figure. Tickle your buzz. There you go, nice job. And we've got... Do you peek after you strip? Hey, uh, you know that song Dean Martin's known for singing called That's Amore? Well, there's a reason I bring it up, okay? Check out these alternate lyrics. When the strip hits your Biore makes those poor perfect strips that pull out dirt and blackheads from your disgusting face. And what you rely on when Biore is all gone, that's called duct tape. Hope that It's roadkill time. Smack your buzzer when you see something that connects the two clues. And don't forget to look at all the correct answers so you can guess the bonus question. Alright then, let's slip her into gear. Blank M for murder, and keeps time, son, blank. What do these two have in common? What do all the correct answers have in common? Are they all brands of soap? Ka-ching! Man, you were cleaned up on that one. You better break open the bubbly. All right, get a load of you. Ah, let's keep going. How much cash? Get ready for... Fill her up the hard way. Here comes the questione. 
If the local fast food joint offers free cap... You can check for good blood circulation by pressing a fingernail and watching the blood refill into the capillaries. And then you can peel back the nail to see if you're an instant winner. Hit that buzzer. And the category is... Sex Addicts. Hey, uh, are you a sex addict? If you just can't get enough formication, how might you enjoy doing... Formication is an itching sensation that feels like ants are crawling all over your skin. And by ants, I mean the insects, you know. If you got relatives crawling all over you, that's a whole nother condition you got there. How much will this one be? Oh, nice pick. It's time to play Diss or Dad. The category for this diss or dat question is, you can be too rich and too skinny. All right, I'm gonna list off seven items. For each one, I want you to tell me if it's a name that includes light or a name that includes slim. You cash in for each one you get right, but you lose out for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. You got 30 seconds to nail all seven. And we're up. Miller is it? Right? Jim? Fast? D? Pick it? Rock? Uh, hello, nice job. Okay, my friend, there's your score. Uh, let's see what you can do to it. All right, he buzz in. This one's called... Do I use the small fork on myself or the big one? Okay, suppose you're attending a formal dinner party at a swanky home in the Hamptons. Funny thing is, the host is a flesh-eating virus, and you're the featured course. Because you're the meat course at a formal dinner, well, the bad news is you'll be eaten right before the salad. Uh, the good news is, if there's anything left of you, you'll have plenty of room for dessert. Hit that buzzer and let Man, that sucks. All right, here's your category. I can stop using lip balm anytime I want to. And away we go. Oh, no. The FDA has outlawed Carmex. Baby. Carmex is made with beeswax. The thing about that is, though, you know, the bees, they're so sneaky, they sting you on the lips, and then your lips swell and pus and eventually dry out, and then you need more beeswax. See what they're doing? See? All right, this baby's gonna be... Sports that need more nudity. Ready, set, here you go. If you're skinny dipping at the Skins game, who's seeing your naked rump on national TV? Unbelievable. The Skins game is an annual golfing event. The senior tour has one as well as the PGA and the LPGA. And you know, you should really be ashamed of yourself. Golf enthusiasts don't like anything distracting them from the excitement of watching other people play golf. All right, this one will be... Love your liver spots. Coming at you. What weapon would work best against Detective George Francisco from the TV show? In Alien Nation, Detective Francisco is an alien, and uh, the aliens can't take the salt water. It burns their skin. But man, good luck trying to beat him in a sour milk chugging contest. How much cash? Gee, I hope you get this clue. What a lovely shade you are. Me, I prefer Venetian blinds, but you know, I have like a western exposure, so... Um, oh, uh, good luck!
six out of seven. Yeah, maybe now you can get some friends to play with you. So you think you know sushi? Here's the story of two very lovely ladies And their far out righteous ruby old man Went to a party in the 60s Threw their keys into a punch bowl and then Each lady went off with a fella Other than the one with whom she came Nine months later we became a family Bought a groovy pad and then we changed our name To the Swabaroos The Swabaroos Got those non-traditional alternative family blues Being a father's never easy Especially when you don't know whose you are But we're so proud our seeds were intermingled And it really helps to have the extra car Can I have an advance in my allowance? Ask your father. Which one? <laughs> I love you moms and dads! Make sure your parents sign a permission slip. With four parents, I'll need a bigger slip. <laughs> Good night, honey. Good night, honey. Good night, honey. Good night, honey. We're the Swabaroos. The Swabaroos. With mom and dad and dad and mom, there's no way we can ever lose. Swabaroos. Hey, that turned out pretty well. of lawyers, loan sharks, and animals with really big fangs, preying on the weak and defenseless since the beginning of time. And now, here he is, the hardest working guy in trivia, your host, Guy Towers! Hey, welcome to the game. I'm Guy, and like the mighty bear, I'm cute, cuddly, and deadly. I'm just kidding. I'm not so cute. <laughs> All righty, put on your hunting cap, because it's time to go on the prowl. Hit that buggy. Huh. Well, it's better than nothing. And it's going to be called... Hunting Prey, deep in the jungles of Nashville. Ready, set, here you go. Hey, where do the Nashville predators hunt their prey? Shoot! Score! The Predators are a new NHL team. And you know, if you think about it, the name's perfect. I mean, a lot of Predators pull the skin of their prey over their shoulders before they try to punch them to death. How much will this one be? This one will be... When Nursery Rhyme Predators attack. And away we go. If the Big Bad Wolf wants to make a ham sandwich out of the three... Could use some mustard. Unlike bacon, spare ribs, sausage, or any other thing called pork, ham comes from the pig's thigh. Nor the wolf's overacting. Alright, buzz in and let's... And for your viewing pleasure... The Hall and Oats of Fame. 
Hey, uh, remember that Hall & Oates song, Man Eater? Well, if Hall & Oates want to pay tribute to the Native American, they'll only come out at night. Ooh, Mohawk means man eaters. But you know, punk hair is on its way out, so it'd be better to get some other minority to misrepresent. All righty, bingo. bingo. There was a man put out his eye, a rifle was to blame, oh. So blame the NRA, yo. Welcome to Rifle. Remember to buzz in when the first letter of the answer lights up if you want to win the cash. And the bonus is yours if you can grab all five letters. We're going. The sixth sense. A fraternal order with antlers. Nice hat. Most drivers get one at 16. Or a hickey. Actress Sally would really like. And I like you. Fancy term for drunk. Fancy. One more letter for the bonus is your African mammal with a horny nose. Put one in his cap. You tickle me. Australian ostrich like bird. Emu. Like a blank to slaughter. Not bad. Two under par and golf. Let the blank pad. Your money, baby. Nice. Rifle. Nice bonus. All right, get a load of you. Uh, let's keep going. And the category is... You have indeed frightened the excrement out of me. Okay, you know how sometimes when movies are shown in foreign countries, their titles suffer a little in the translation? Which of these creative translations of the The mandible is the lower jawbone, so this translation could work. You know, speaking of bad translations, I once saw the unbearable lightness of being translated as Whee! Hit that buzzer and let's... Oh my god, that sucks. Oh well, here's your category. Naked three martini lunch. Hey, uh, you ever play I never? You know, someone says I never such and such, and then if you have done such and such, you got a drink? <laughs> well, imagine a bunch of dead writers are sitting around. Since Burroughs did indeed kill his wife while trying to shoot a glass off her head, he'd have to drink. But you know, taking a drink wouldn't be so bad. I mean, it might help him relax and aim better next time. How much cash we playing for? Buzz in. Buzz. This baby's gonna be... You must be this tall to ride Jeff Goldblum. Okay, 3,189 bucks if you can nail this one. Uh, shall we? Because this time period didn't have any... The Permian era came and went before the dinosaur's time. Yep, it was filled with gigantic plants that would cruelly do each other's hair without mercy. Alright, but the category is... A little fossil told me. Here comes the questione. Because it's considered to be the first bird, which of these creatures possibly got the first worm? Archaeopteryx, emu, pterodactyl, or dodo? Well, like the caveman says, an Archaeopteryx in the hand is worth two in the prehistoric bush. It had feathers, a wishbone, and was putting the fear of God into them worms about 150 million years ago during the Jurassic period. 
Hit that button. This one's called... Don't get too cocky. Okay, put away your rooster and imagine this. Since cockfights are illegal, you and your pals decide to stay... A cockatrice is a mythological serpent hatched from a cock's egg, able to kill with its deadly gaze. So, I said it before and I'll say it again. Be careful with the one-eyed snake. How much will this one be worth? Hit that buzzer. Oh my god! You are not gonna believe this! It's time for a dis or dad. And this dis or dad questions category is... The better to eat you with. Okay, I'm gonna read off seven items. And for each one, tell me if the person or thing is... A fox or a wolf. Cash in for each one you get right, but you lose out for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. You got 30 seconds to nail all seven. And we're up. Holder from the X-Files. Fox. Blitzer. Baseball. World War II. Jake out. Hello, nice job. Okay, my friend, there's your score. Uh, let's see what you can do to it. Hit your buzzer and snag the cash. Oh, pathetic. Well, here's your category. My jugular bleeds for you. Hey, uh, you know that Anne Rice book interview with the vampire and how it's written like a, um, uh, well, like an interview with a vampire? Well... Considering the format in which the Blah! Dracula is an epistolary novel, which means it's told through letters and journals written by the characters. And I'll tell you, that story was so scary, I pretty much epistolaried all over myself. Tickle your And your category is... Somewhere over the graveyard. Questions coming. Say the return of the living dead zombies attack the famous tr The zombies wanted brains! And uh, the scarecrow doesn't have any. And for dessert, they're going after those little yummies in the lollipop guild. All right, he buzzed. when I run out of plastic wrap? Well, check out this clue. Curses foiled again. Me, I prefer like a plastic wrap. You know, it's a person. Well, uh, good luck. Six out of seven. Yeah, maybe now you can get some friends to play with you. I must have seen mortgage 50 times already. 